Using logarithms to solve exponential equations, part two. First, let's review our procedure. Um, we are going to isolate our exponential expression and then look at the base. If we have base 10, then we will take the common log of both sides. And if we have a base other than 10, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. And then we will simplify by using one or more of the properties, log properties, of course, and then we're going to solve for the variable. So for example, um, let's look at 8 times 2 to the 3x minus 4 plus 1 equals 25. Now, first we have to isolate the exponential term. So we're going to start with subtracting 1 from both sides. And we get 8 times 2 to the 3x minus 4 equals 24. And then we will divide through by 8. And we would get 2 to the 3x minus 4 equals 3. And since those are not the same base right there, we're going to take the natural log of 2 to the 3x minus 4 equals the natural log of 3. Now, our next step is to use the power rule for logarithms, but our exponent has more than one term. So when we bring it out in front, it must be in parentheses. So 3x minus 4 in parentheses times natural log of 2 equals natural log of 3. Now, I would advise against multiplying through by natural log of 2. I would go ahead and just divide by natural log of 2. And we get 3x minus 4 equals the natural log of 3 divided by the natural log of 2. And then add 4. So we're going to have 3x equals natural log of 3 over natural log of 2 plus 4, and then multiply both sides by the reciprocal of your coefficient, in other words, one-third. And don't forget to put parentheses on the right here. So what we have is one-third times 3x equals one-third times, in parentheses, natural log of 3 divided by the natural log of 2 plus 4. Now we're going to um, cancel out the threes on the left, give it as our x, and we're going to distribute the uh, one third through the parentheses here. So we're going to get natural log of three over three natural log of two plus four thirds. And then when you put that into your calculator, round to the fourth decimal place, you get 1.8617. Now, let's look at one with base 10. Say that we had 5 times 10 to the x plus 2 minus 3 equals 0. Now, we're going to add 3 to both sides. So 5 times 10 to the x plus 2 equals 3. And divide through by 5, so 10 to the x plus 2 equals 3 fifths. And then since this is base 10, we're going to take the common log of both sides. Common log of 10 to the x plus 2 equals the common log of 3 fifths. Now, base of the common log, of course, is 10, so common log of 10 um, to the x plus 2 simplifies by the inverse property of logs to x plus 2. And of course, common log of 3 fifths on the right is a number. And then so finally, we subtract 2 from both sides and we're going to get x equals common log of 3 fifths minus 2. And you put that into your calculator, you get negative 2.2218. Okay, now for our last example, let's do one that students usually have difficulty with.
And that is when you have an exponential term on both sides, like 4 to the x plus 3 equals 3 to the 2x. And notice the bases are different. Now, for this one, you cannot isolate the exponential term. It's just not possible. There's two different ones. So we're going to go straight to taking the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of 4 to the x plus 3 equals the natural log of 3 to the 2x, and then use the power rule for logarithms. Now the x plus 3 exponent here is two terms, so it must go in parentheses again. x plus 3 natural log of 4, and then over here on the right, that's just 2x natural log of 3. Now this time, because we are trying to isolate for x, in other words, solve for x, we are actually going to distribute the natural log of 4 through the parentheses. So x natural log of 4 plus 3 natural log of 4 equals 2x natural log of 3. And I am going to subtract x natural log of 4 from both sides. So I'm going to have 3 natural log of 4 equals 2x natural log of 3 3. I don't know why I wrote x there. Let's fix that real fast. And minus x natural log of 4. Okay. Now over here on the right, I have x as a common factor. So we're going to factor that out. So over here, 3 natural log of 4 on the left stays the same. Now I'm going to factor out x and I get 2 natural log of 3 minus natural log of 4. Now there are three log properties. Um, the power rule, which we use a lot, but there's also the product rule of logs and the quotient rule of logs. Um, we could use the power rule and the quotient rule to clean this up a little bit. Over here on the left, let's use the power rule and make this natural log of 4 cubed equals x times. Now let's use the power rule also in this first term inside the parentheses. So natural log of 3 squared minus a natural log of 4. And then that would give me natural log of 64 equals x times and uh, inside the parentheses is a minus sign, so I could actually use the quotient rule here and write that as the natural log of, well, 3 squared is 9 over 4. And this just makes solving for x much easier. So now we divide by natural log of 9 fourths, and we get x equals natural log of 64 over the natural log of 9 fourths. And when you put that into your calculator, you get 5.1285. The end.